Hey guys, wanted to do a video for you uh, in response to a viewer's request. I uh, was just wondering what the, the edge was like on this, uh, as well as the edge retention, uh, durability, that kind of thing. Uh, this is a Chinese knockoff uh, of the SE Azula knife. And I apologize uh, for the noise in the background. My uh, my kids are outside playing right now, so you're going to have a little background noise there, but uh, it is what it is. It's a nice day. Um, so yeah, I don't usually do torture tests or beat up knives that I have. I'll just use them. Um, but I don't really carry, plan on carrying this, so I figured I'd throw it through its paces a little bit early and uh, and see what we get. I was just going to do a little, little carving just to see what kind of... Uh, edge it had and how well it would uh, hold up to a little bit of abuse. I don't really have any uh, structure planned for this or uh, any type of script by any means. I'm just uh, going to see what I can do with it. See if I can cut through some, some wood, do some very light batoning. It's not a very long blade so I don't expect to uh, be chopping logs with it. Uh, it's definitely having to take some pressure to get through this. This is very green wood, fresh. Something on through there. Definitely not biting very well. Put a little bit of an edge on this over what it came with, but it's not uh, its not great. Um, I'm sure I could spend some more time and put a better edge on it, but... But it'll, it'll slice through there, I guess. Not too bad. bit of hardwood, uh, very small stuff. Let's see if we can't baton through it. it. Might be a little too thick. I think this is a lot to ask of a little tiny knife like this, but give it a go anyway. Yeah, I'm not even going to be able to get through the uh, place it further forward. Well, if you want to cut some kindling, uh, might do the job, I guess. Now, as we'd expect, the uh, especially with the finish that I'm, we're already aware this knockoff has, it just chips right off. It's completely destroying the finish on it. Now, I know that if I, if this was the SE it would be wearing and not chipping like that.
So for for chopping kindling out of a little bit of wood. You're chopping. Does all right. Hi, buddy. You're chopping some wood. I'm chopping some wood. My little guy's just come down to check out what we're doing. I'm on the video right now. See? You're, the, you're on the video? Yeah, it's playing. <laughs> so. Alright, we'll check out the edge a little bit here, the tip. Now, this is not wet wood, this is all dried out, but. Well, so far so good. Looks like uh, underneath where the uh, powder coating was, there's a bit of a an edge on the on the top. But that's not from this. It was just already there. Just a little blemish, I guess you'd call it. It's really kind of uh, slipping on it now. It's not biting very well, um, and it didn't bite very well to start with. But I mean, we can we can call that my fault by not by not sharpening it up properly. But I can tell you just from watching review video videos that when you buy an Azula from SE, it comes sharp. You don't need to tune it up before you take it out in the woods. And this by no means came sharp. It's sharper now than it was when I first got it. But it's, I wouldn't call it sharp at all. Um, seems to be doing all right though, as far as uh, just a little bit of woodwork goes. Paper, uh, I tell you, it didn't cut very paper very well before all this, so I'm pretty sure that, yeah, it's not going to even come close. Just ripped it. Obviously, we can plunge cut, and it's still tear is pretty good. I mean, it goes through it, but you can see it's it's catching up or fetching up. Um, so not great as far as the uh, the edge, um, but as far as edge retention, honestly, it's about the same as it was when I started. So uh, not that I've put this through any huge amounts of uh, of torture just now, but. So as we baton through, 
Uh, I don't know how well you can see it there, but back edge of the spine, of course, has been uh, been chipped away as far as the coating goes. Uh, on this, again, I expected that. Uh, I've got some chipping here, and we've had more come off of the blade itself. All the way back here. I, not a surprise. Uh, it was <laughs> just from sharpening the thing, it chipped, so uh, chipped away the finish. So poor quality finish blade seems to be functioning as a blade. I mean, it's, uh, I wouldn't ask huge amounts of, uh, work out of a real Azula. So what I'm doing here personally is more than I do with it anyway. Um, if I had bought the real thing, uh, which I still would like to, I'd, I'd like to have their, uh, tan version that they have out right now. Um, as far as this goes, could you trust it? Could you use it? I don't see why not. Um, Honestly, I, I put a little time into sharpening the edge, but it didn't come up nearly as sharp as uh, some of my other knives, so I guess I'd have to say the edge or attention it, it might be pretty good, but uh, ease of sharpening, maybe score a little lower, but uh, I by no means do I have a scale for this kind of stuff. Uh, this isn't a normal video for me, but um, certainly like to try to get out and, uh, and accommodate my viewers, so uh, if you guys want to see anything else... Uh, of interest, uh, let me know. Now, I don't go out and destroy my knives usually. Um, if it's meant to be used hard, I'll use it hard, but uh, but not uh, not out of roll usually. Uh, but this one here would be a woods knife, uh, you know, neck knife, one you just strap to your belt. You could use it for any number of things, including this kind of stuff: uh, fire prep, uh, food prep. It's a full flat ground, so it'd be good for that. Um, just this little bit of work here alone makes me want a real one even more. Uh, I am a bit of a brand uh, fan. I like to have an actual SE. I uh, just haven't afforded it yet. Uh, I probably will soon. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, pretty good little knife. I enjoy it. Uh, I have one that has a better coating on it that I also got from China. The coating held up better to sharpening and it has a, nice, a nicer edge on it from the factory. And I've put a, since put an even better edge on it. I didn't bring that out. It's an orange version. Um, I figured if I was going to beat on one of these, I'd, I'd make it just the one and not uh, destroy both of them that I had. Not that this is destroyed. It's just got a coating missing. No big deal. Um, but on a whole, is this worth the, whatever it was, $10 I spent on it? I'm, I'm guessing at the $10. It's, I don't remember now, but uh, check my other video for that. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's worth it. Um... It's usable. You could carry it with you. You could resharpen it, although it takes some time to sharpen it. Um, but it'll do the job. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, as usual, uh, subscribe, leave any comments below, and have a great day.